everybody. Welcome. Welcome to our Facebook Live. My name is Jennifer and this is Jasper. And well, we'll get to him in just a second. But if you guys are joining us for the first time, thank you. If you're not, if you are Alistair or all of our uh, faithful watchers, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are the first time watching us and you want to see us all the time, go live Mondays and Fridays. Click the top three buttons and turn on those live notifications. So that way your phone will let you know that when we are doing our live videos every single week. Now today we are going to talk all about adaptations. We're actually going to start a series. So if you tune in the next couple of times, we are going to be talking all about adaptations for different animals. And an adaptation is really just a characteristic or sometimes a behavior that an animal has or does in order to help it survive. We'll get into Jasper's many adaptations, but all different animals have different things that help them to survive. In finding food, maybe it's finding a shelter, maybe it's surviving or defending itself against a predator, or even finding friends if it needs to. All of those adaptations, again, helping them to survive. Now Jasper is a fennec fox. And a fennec fox is, he's not a baby, no, but he is actually one of the smallest species or the smallest species of fox in the world. Now he hails all the way from the Sahara Desert. So living in a place that is so hot, he's going to have extra adaptations or even more specialized adaptations for helping him to survive. If you check out these ears, they not only make him look adorably cute, and they are the largest ears of any type of fox, but they have another adaptation, not only for helping him to hear, which he needs to do to look out for predators or to find his food, but a special adaptation that he has for living in the desert with these ears because they work like air conditioning. He actually has tiny little blood vessels right at the surface of his ears, and when a cool breeze comes by, it is going to cool off the blood in his ears. Then that cold blood travels and circulates throughout the rest of his body. Animals like elephants and donkeys, rabbits, they have this adaptation too. Do we have lots of fans watching? We do. So um, Lorelai is watching. Oh. She says hello. And Alistair is watching again. Oh, yeah. Sheldon is watching. And that might be the first time that we've met Sheldon. So hi, Sheldon. Hi, Sheldon. Uh, Beckham says hi, too. Jean is watching from Massachusetts. So and, fun. yeah, we have some more friends watching as well. Cool. Well, we are talking again all about adaptations. And not only are his ears an adaptation, but his feet. Now he has paws and nails just like maybe your dog has um, because they are canids so they are related somewhat distantly to a dog. We're kind of in that same little area but what's different about Jasper's he has an adaptation. I don't know if you can see that Jess is you'll see that he has hair on the bottom of his feet now or foot. If he was a dog he would have a pad but having his hair and his foot covered in hair it is an adaptation for him to run on the hot sand. Just, it kind of works like built-in little pair of shoes that he has. Oh, you're so cute. And his shoes, which are the fur, they work like our shoes, right? Our shoes, they protect us from the hot, hot ground, and they also help us to gain traction. That means they help us not to slip, which works that hair on the bottom of his foot works the same exact way helping him so he can run across the sand in the Sahara Desert at nighttime. We have some more first-time watchers. Andy hi. says hi, um, and Haley says hi as well. Thanks, hi. guys. Jasper and I say hello, and thank you guys again for joining us. We are having so much fun doing these live uh, videos every single Monday and Friday. And again, tune in on Friday to see about what all about adaptations and animal we're going to feature. Now, one more adaptation I want to show you guys on Jasper, and it might be kind of an obvious one, is the color of his hair. It helps him to camouflage. It's an adaptation to help him to blend in to where he's from. 
The Sahara Desert is sandy in color, and so his yellow coloring helps to for him to blend in as he is <laughs> he is running about. Because not only is he a predator, but he is actually a prey item for another animal. Another animal that is flying way up high in the sky. A bird of prey, most likely, will put Jasper on the menu. And so, but if he can camouflage using his hair and the color of his hair and fur, that's gonna help him to survive a little bit better. Cool. Well, I, there are lots of different adaptations and each animal has a different one or a few or a bunch actually. And well, today's activity, which you guys can find on our website, at uh, pacificanimalproductions.com go to the kids corner that's where you're going to find all of our free activities that we have this one is all about adaptation so after you've watched this video you will be able to circle all the adaptations on our fennec fox what do you think there now mine printed out pink and huh, you well, jasper's not quite pink i don't think that was one of his adaptations but we have tons of free activities and also free other free videos if you've missed our learning safari lives you can go back and watch all of our different videos and keep learning and learning and learning all summer long we have lots of different stuff coming up we have another paint with Paco paint along with Paco is a virtual paint session where we instruct you how to create a beautiful masterpiece alongside our beautiful muse Paco the Sloth. It's a lot of fun. It's only $25 per household, so really fun and a cost effective night for the family. And we have lots of different other events, so stay tuned to our Facebook, and we are excited to tell you guys a lot about some other upcoming summer activities that we are going to have. Of course, all those new viewers, if you haven't checked out our website, and became a, become a member of our pack. That's our Pacific Animal Conservation Kids, and it's a free club. We're about to send out our first activity for the year. You get a special birthday message, a free membership card, and some free activities that are unique only to our pack members. Well, we have, of course, if you guys have any questions, do we have any questions yet? Um, oh, um, Becca wants to know if there will be another turtle race. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think we, maybe we'll have to do something like that. Yeah, we might have to see. I think World Turtle Day might be coming up. I think I was reading up on that. So we might have to do a special turtley turtle race. No tortoises allowed in that one. <laughs> maybe see. If you guys missed that, check it out on our YouTube channel, on our website. You can see our tortoise races. They're pretty thrilling. <laughs> Well, if you guys have any questions or think of anything about Jasper the Fennec Fox, or if there's any animals that you guys want to learn about for our All About Adaptation series that we're going to be doing, leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to get to them. We do have one more before we sign off. One just came in and it's a yeah. great question. We get it a lot with Jasper. Do Fennec Foxes make good pets? That is a great question because they do not. That's actually how we got Jasper, is he was someone's pet, and they thought, wow, he looks just like a dog. He looks like even like a little chihuahua. He's so cute. But he is a fox through and through. Foxes, they are diggers. I didn't tell you those adaptations of those feet. They are also great for digging. He can dig and dig and dig. That's what they do. They dig their own homes. And this person that had them in their house, because they thought, oh, just like a regular old dog, they came home and Jasper had done what foxes do. He had dug a hole in their carpet and then he had jumped up and dug a hole in their mattress. It is true. <laughs> so they quickly realized that foxes do not make great pets at all. And so he came to live with us and now he lives here with his girlfriend, Fiona. I want to thank you guys so much again for joining us on our virtual learning safari live today. I hope you guys join us again on Friday and keep checking back for all different sorts of fun material and fun content to keep your summer uh, exciting and to help us keep learning alive. Thanks guys. I'll see you guys next time.